Now at the Museum of Latin American Art, the sites of Latin American abstraction until January 24th, 2010. Reading from the museum's description, the exhibit presents an innovative approach to geometric abstraction in art from Latin America produced between the decades of the 1930s and the 1970s. We are looking at the completion of abstract art, abstraction, as it was developed in Latin America from the 1940s until the 1970s. There is uh, a huge representation of, 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 of the art because there are 80 artists and the, the 200 works. So you can have a very comprehensive idea of uh, the identity, the specificity of Latin American abstraction during the period. What were the challenges in coming up with the artists, and not only the artists, but the specific pieces of the artists? Well, we tried to um, target the most representative uh, pieces of, of the most representative periods of the artist's works. And we also tried to incorporate photography as a valid mode of abstraction, as valid as painting and sculpture, so the challenge was to involve doing a lot of research on Latin American abstract photography and trying to uh, show that which is barely noticed, barely shown, and make it public again. The exhibit is from a private collector who believes in sharing the art she's entrusted with. I think for me that's the most important thing because in reality when, when you're a collector you're only the keeper of that, that art. It never stays with you. You die, it stays behind. Somebody keeps it and then somebody helps it. So it is to share, art is to share and I, I really am against putting art in boxes or keeping it, you know for just for the sake of owning something. I think art has to be shared and I share my art all the time with museums and I, I lend not only this, I lend all of my collection all the time to all the museums and, and I do ex exhibitions too. So.